Hi guys, this is Pete, N6QW, and today I want to demonstrate <clears throat> the, the Arduino uh, CW Center Part 3, and I'm moving things around here so we can see it in the camera, and essentially what you have is our Arduino breakout board. Here is the analog control for the uh, speed and uh, the weighting. Here we have an LCD display a scrolling LCD display showing what uh, essentially what is being typed on the keyboard and sent on Morse code and we also have the computer display which will uh, essentially take everything off the keyboard and uh, will keep a complete record of what is in the session um, the if you go to the N6QW website and click on the Arduino page look for the CW Sender Part 3 and you'll see a wiring diagram how to wire everything up here so that you can do the same thing and the code has been uploaded so if you can't wait for the article that will come out in the next issue of QRP quarterly um, you can go ahead and download the code and play with this and have a little fun again this is a joint project of myself and 6QW and Ben Kuo uh, KK6FUT and uh, this is uh, to this short video is to demonstrate uh, just exactly how the Arduino works. Um, you must also engage um, a terminal program. In this case, we're using PUTTY, and uh, you have to uh, ensure that you connect uh, to the COM port uh, that is on the Arduino uh, is the same that you designate in PuTTY. So um, uh, here's the system. It's fired up, and we'll just try a little test here and we just set the letter G and the letter G shows up here and the letter G shows up there and I'll hit the letter H I'm gonna put a space in there of course nothing will be sent with the space put O P and my name I don't know if you can hear that that's the uh, tone is a little bit low but there is a speaker mounted underneath here as it provides the side tone so we also have the functionality that one of the keys is set up so that if you hit the um, you hit the and the keyboard is below here not in the screen if you hit the equal key it'll send the CQ string and it does not show up here because we haven't programmed the CAN messages to show up. This will only demonstrate the messages that are sent on the keyboard. So, uh, this also has a um, memory in it so that what you type is stored in the memory and notice my hands are off the keyboard and it's still typing now if I could only type <laughs> this is N6QW demonstrating the part 3 CW sender and again built-in memory uh, you can see a little bit here uh, I didn't put in sender keyboard I didn't put any spaces in there and you see the same thing up here so um, this is a uh, uh, this is a real nice addition to the shack you can adjust the weighting and the spacing and also if you adjust the software you what you'll be able to do is make it at a higher speed right now it's set about 15 words per minute so uh, this is the part three CW sender. Again, this is N6QW, and this is a joint project with uh, Ben KK6FUT and myself N6QW. So uh, let's uh, let's send a little bit more. This really cleans up chunky sending
and we even have the error key. If you make an error, it sends a string of dits. And up here it says the uh, homebrew radio is QRP and the antenna is a dipole, uh, DEN6QW. So with that I'll sign and this just gives you a flavor of the Part 3 CW sender.